In Jenkintown, Montgomery County, a number of residents made their voices heard tonight as the borough is considering shuttering their police department. Action News reporter Katie Catro was at tonight's community meeting and is live with the full story. Katie. Rick, it was a packed house here tonight. In fact, there were so many people that many stood outside of the auditorium because there weren't enough seats. Many people were here tonight because the issue of safety is on their minds. Inside Jenkintown High School's auditorium, Jenkintown Borough residents lined up and spoke out against losing their police department. It's absurd. Absurd. Residents are reacting as officials consider dissolving the department and contracting with neighboring townships like Abington or Cheltenham. If we were to contract with another agency, then the police service is not going to change. It's going to be just as good or better, depending on what, what agency we contract with. Officials from the Montgomery County Borough say half of its budget pays for the 11 member police force. The cost, coupled with higher taxes, is putting a burden on residents. The discussion follows a 2020 report on Jenkintown Police, completed by an outside consultant. It recommended 90 changes for the department. A lot of this boils down to money. Operating the police department currently costs about $2.5 million. Why now? Uh, this police department is being targeted for uh, elimination. Officials say disbanding the department and working with another could save the borough more than $400,000. Residents say they feel their safety is in jeopardy. This is not fair for this town or this borough to lose their police force. The Jenkintown Police Benevolent Association opposes the plan, calling it short-sighted. The association said in a statement, We'd like to say we are disheartened over the continuous talks of the disbandment. We know there are other solutions, and we look forward to coming together as a community to finding and implementing these solutions. Now, as for a timeline on when all of this could happen, the chief says all of that is still up in the air, but he does say that any money saved could go towards other departments within the borough. Reporting live in Jenkintown, Katie Catro, Channel 6 Action News. Rick. All right, Katie, thank you.